find the sum of 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 29 plus 41 and so on up to n terms. You may pause the video while you figure it out. Let's walk through the solution. The answer to this problem is a fraction whose numerator is n times n plus 2 times n plus 4 and the denominator is 3. Let us n donate the sum of this series. To find the sum, we need to identify the pattern the terms of these series are following. If we subtract first term from the second term, we get 6. Similarly, third term minus second term equals 8, fourth term minus third term equals 10, and fifth term minus fourth term equals 12. Observe that the difference between the consecutive terms in this series is an arithmetic progression. Therefore, the difference between nth term and n minus 1th term of the series is n minus 1th term in the sequence 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. If we add up all the equations, the first term on the left side of each equation gets cancelled by the second term on the left side of the next equation. We are left with a n minus a1 equals sum of an arithmetic progression that is 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 and so on up to n minus 1 terms. We know that the sum of the arithmetic series is m by 2 times 2p plus m minus 1 times d, where m is the number of terms in AP, p is the first term of AP, and d is the common difference between consecutive terms. In the present case, m equals n minus 1, p equals 6, and d equals 2. Using this formula to find the sum of this arithmetic series, we get a n minus a1 equals n square plus 3 times n minus 4. Substituting the value of a1, we get a n equals n square plus 3 times n plus 1. So in general, for any kth term, we can write a k equals k square plus 3 times k plus 1. Therefore, Sn equals summation of a k, where k ranges from 1 to n. We can distribute the summation operator within the braces. We can expand the summation for each term. 1 square plus 2 square and so on up to n square equals n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 divided by 6. 1 plus 2 and so on up to n equals n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Adding 1 n times gives us n. These are some standard results which one must remember to solve such problems. Simplifying it further, we get s n equals n times n plus 2 times n plus 4 divided by 3, which is the required result. So, this is how we can find the sum of this series. Hope you liked this video, and for more such videos, subscribe to this channel.